you know what? Something's been bothering me about our machines all this time. Our machines have all these boxes going infinitely far off to the left, which seems awfully lopsided, awfully unsymmetrical. What about having boxes going off to the right as well? In fact, why not? Let's make it happen. Let's actually start drawing some boxes infinitely off to the right as well. Great. Now, of course, the question is, what do those boxes mean? OK, can we give meaning to boxes going off to the right to make a nice symmetrical picture? All right, so if I am working with a 10-1 machine, I do know it works by having 10 dots here explode, kaboom, become one dot there. And 10 dots there explode, kaboom, become one dot there. So if it really is a 10-1 machine, the same thing must be happening here. 10 dots here must explode, kaboom, to make one dot there. Which means 10 of these things, whatever they're worth, must combine to have a value of 1. 10 somethings equals 1. And that makes me think these are 1 tenth. Let me just check that. Is 10 1 tenths really 1? 10 1 tenths? 10 1 tenths is 1. Yes, these dots here must each be worth a tenth. All right, which now makes me wonder about dots over here. 10 of these, whatever they're worth, make 1 tenth. So 10 of these, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, would make 1 tenth which makes me think one hundredths. Am I right? Are ten one hundredths the same as one tenth? Let's find out. Ten one hundredths. That'll be, one, uh, that'll be ten times uh, one over ten times ten. Yes, that cancels out one tenth. Ten one hundredths is indeed one tenth. Great! Then I can guess now these are going to be one thousandths because I see ten one thousandths would be a hundredth. This will be one ten thousandths because ten ten thousandths would be a thousandth. Getting hard to sort of say and think, but there we are. I think we've just discovered meaning to all these boxes to the right. And people usually separate these boxes with a point. And they call that little point here a decimal point. Decimal point, decimal. And deci means 10. So we're separating boxes with the powers of 10 to the left, with boxes with the powers of a tenth to the right, with a decimal point, deci meaning 10. We've just discovered what people call decimals. Though, though I need to point out, since deci means 10, this is appropriate for a 10-1 machine. If I did this with a 2-1 machine, I wouldn't want to call that a decimal point. I guess I want to call it a bimal point. I don't know if that's a word, I don't think it's a word. Or if this was a 3-1 machine, I guess I'd use a different name again, meaning 3-ness. Okay, but we'll just stick with decimals right now. We'll stick with a 10-1 machine and have a decimal point. So we have just discovered decimals. Great! So if, for example, if I write the decimal uh, 0 0.3, that literally means uh, nothing here, there's my point, and then three things here, three tenths. Oh, it literally means three tenths. There it is. Or if I write 0 0.007, what does that mean? It means I've got nothing to the left of the decimal point, nothing over here, but I've got nothing here as well, nothing here as well, but I've got seven things here. That is seven dots at the thousandths level. This is actually seven one thousandths. There we go. Great. Now, I just did something a little bit sneaky. It's a style thing here. Some people like to write a zero just before the decimal point, and other people like to leave the blank just before the decimal point. Don't write a zero. It's fine, it's just a style. Some people might prefer to go 0 0.007, some people might prefer to just go 0.3. I think most people do like putting the zeros in front, but you don't have to. You'll see, you'll see both things. All right, okay, so decimals, great. Oh, here's a point of confusion. Uh, 0 0.31, if I draw a picture of 0 0.31, so I've got nothing to the left of the decimal point, but I've got three of these, that's three tenths, and one of those, one one hundredth, then it's literally what I just said, 3 tenths and 1 one hundredth. Great, good and grand. But here's the funny thing. When people read something like this out loud, they often say, oh, it's 31 one hundredths, 31 one hundredths. 31 one hundredths, that's actually a different picture because 31 one hundredths would be uh, 31 of these. So let me draw 31 of those. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 30 and 1. Great. There's a picture of 31 hundredths. And it looks very different from that. 3 tenths and 1 one hundredth. Except you realize, oh, this is a 10 1 machine. We can explode groups of 10. 10 here, kaboom! Make a dot over here. 10 here, kaboom! Make a dot over here. 10 explode over here, kaboom! Make a dot over here. And yes, with explosions, I can see 31 hundredths really was the same as 3 tenths and 1 one hundredth. So yes, this also equals 31 hundredths. People are correct to say 31 hundredths. And if we go back from 3 tenths to 1 hundredth, back to 31 hundredths, just 
unexplode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oops. And unexplode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And unexplode. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I'm back to 31 hundredths. Okay, we can switch back and forth. This is great. All right, so we're working with decimals. All is good. In fact, you can even do arithmetic with decimals, just like we were doing arithmetic before. Nothing is different. For example, if someone asked me to compute, say, 22.37 plus 5.841. Let's do that. Well, in my picture, in my picture, well, I can see exactly what it's going to be. I'm saying, please take uh, two tens, one, two, two units, one, two, three tenths, and seven uh, hundredths, and add to that five ones, one, two, three, four, five, eight tenths, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Four of these, four hundredths, and one one thousandth. So I can see I'm really going to get two plus nothing is two, two plus uh, five is seven, point three plus eight is eleven, seven plus four is eleven, and zero, nothing but one is one. Great. Two dots, seven dots, yes, eleven dots, yes, eleven dots, yes, one dot, great. There's the answer. Two, seven, point, eleven, eleven, one. But of course, we know society doesn't like having sort of these strange big digit numbers in, in decimal places or in, in units places in place value. They don't like big numbers in place value. So they don't like the 11s here. What can we do to fix up the 11s? Well, of course, we can do explosions. 10 of these explode, kaboom, leaving one behind, making an extra dot here. So I could rewrite this as 1111. People don't like the 11, let's fix it up. 10 explode, kaboom, leaving one behind. Making an extra dot here. So this is really 28.211. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've just computed addition problem in decimals and it's just like doing it in ordinary arithmetic. This is good stuff.